Now welcome back to another episode of No Money Spent Battle Royale. We're going for three wins, so all I'm asking for is three likes. Just three likes, that's all I'm asking for. If you're new here and up enjoying today's content, hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss. Same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. Also, click on the channel community tab, interact with me there, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. So we have Corey Kluber as our ace. He got rocked last game. The lineup is not the best in the world, but it's definitely workable with. And then the bench, not the best in the world either. But the bullpen, this is arguably one of the best bullpens I've ever drafted. Unfortunately, we did end up taking an L in the previous episode, but we're looking to bounce back, get at least three wins, and go 4-1. and one. So let's hop into it. So we're facing the Iceland, Iceland Dick Vikings. He has Dylan Carlson. Donaldson, Garver, Renfro. Okay, one through eight. It is stacked. So we have something to worry about for sure. So let's go ahead, beat them, and get two more wins, of course. That's what we got to do here. Now, I hate the fact that I have to put it into blunt defense every single time I face Araberto Mondesi, but that seems to be a reoccurring theme, to be honest with you all. Everybody seems to be bunting with Araberto Mondesi as soon as he comes up to hit. We'll take that as ball four, get David Peralta on first, bring up Trey Mancini. That's a fastball that was absolutely crushed by Trey Mancini. Doesn't look like it has enough to actually leave, so it's just going to be a deep fly ball to the center field wall. That's a fastball I turned on absolutely. Just early apparently, just went foul as well. We'll take that. So two walks after a hard hit ball by Trey Mancini. Runners on first and second for Hicks. It's gonna be an easy ground ball to the first baseman. Gonna be a double play. Just missed that fastball. Just missed it. Going for the strikeout here with the cutter on the outside corner. He's been super early out in front of it this entire game and we get the job done with a strikeout. Hopefully we can get some runners on base and drive them in this time around though though. That's Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro, welcome to the kingdom. His swing is unmatched. The guy just rips. So, with that, we are going to go ahead and ask the questions to see how many of you guys actually make it this far. Who do you think is the GOAT when it comes to basketball? Leave that down in the comment section below. That's a knuckle curve. Michael has been doing a great job of hitting, truth be told. I thought that he was probably going to be one of the most disappointing hitters in the lineup, but he hasn't been. That's a fastball. Should bloop in there for a base hit. Like I was just saying about Michael. The same thing has been happening with Brock Holt. He has... What?! doesn't even make sense his hand was in there there's just no way we we we're actually well I couldn't see the replay and it doesn't matter anymore it's Curtis Granderson it's a two-run home run welcome to the kingdom but I'm just like what how is that an out Curtis you did your thing though appreciate it nice little splitter it hung 100%. Luckily enough for us, it was able to just be a fly out to the left fielder, David Peralta. Zach takes home the win. We advance to 2-1. And, and let's head on to the next game. So now we're facing Lucky Apple 047, New York Vipers. We have Garrett Richards on the mound. Unfortunately for us, he has a very deadly lineup, 1-8. through eight. But just like us, he has a bronze starting pitcher. Hopefully we have the upper hand when it comes to the bullpen. We don't have the upper hand when it comes to the lineup. Let's see if we can get ourselves three wins. 41-15 and 15 seems to be a very good player. So our work is cut out for us. So I want to start off Jock with a two-seamer on the outside corner. But instead, I'll just throw him a fastball right down the middle. Call it a day and let him have a one-run lead. Two-seamer on the outside corner. Can we get it to fall in there for a strike? Well, I'm never throwing his two-seamer again, but that's going to basically do it for Garrett Richards. We're bringing in Vita Blue 100% of the way here, and I'm going to get replayed, so not fun. 
that's gonna be hopefully one run back just early good for a second I thought he was catching that I did not think that one was leaving that's gonna be a wall scraper that's gonna go ahead and cut it down to one let's go. that's gonna be a fastball hit inside the gap we were just early on that one luckily enough we were able to wrap our bat around the ball hit that one into the gap I would try to push for a triple but I've already made too many dumb base running decisions that's gonna be a blast by Gary Sanchez so Gary welcome to the kingdom we take a two run lead here so that's great for us right now that's gonna be a fastball high deep good okay it's gonna hit off the wall I'm gonna stay at second base with Aaron Judge's cannon can't afford to try and get a triple out of that that's an inside fastball was considering going all the way to third but made the wise decision of staying that's a curveball that we absolutely obliterated with Corey Seager that's gonna give us now a three-run lead welcome to the kingdom Corey that's exactly what I'm talking about right there and no I don't do home run replays so you'll never catch me doing that as payback fastball to Michael Michael hits a blast should be off the wall it will be off the wall if the center fielder had not backed him up we could have gotten ourselves a triple with 64 speed Brock Holt is now gonna come up to hit 3-0 count of giving Brock Holt the green light I was giving him the green light 100% of the way that has to be driving him in I mean that's inside the gap for crying out loud it's gonna be a ground rule double we're gonna have a six run lead and everybody knows Curtis Granderson he got it done last time he's gonna come up to hit this time is he gonna quit out now seems to be the case and there you go lucky Apple you weren't lucky this time around so that should be three wins let's see who we would be going for in terms of a gold now we know that for sure Brian Dozier is joining the squad so we will be replacing that common second baseman that we got and Paul Goldschmidt is going to be our six so let's go ahead play one more and hopefully take that W2 so we're facing the New York Yankees hopefully he has some pretty good looking Yankee uniforms because we got some pretty good looking Yankee uniforms he has OG Germ Shorty, Springer Soto Hanley, Reyes Jock Steven. It's today the day that we face nothing but stacked out teams like holy cow, one through eight stacked out, 25 12, but that means nothing here. And hey, he has good looking Yankee uniforms, so I'm happy on that note. We have John Franco, usually a bullpen arm, but I'm using him as an opener. Why you might be asking? Well, Right now, Corey Kluber, he's not fully rested, and neither is our silver, so someone needs to step up, and that has to be John Franco in this situation. I haven't given him a fastball yet, and I don't plan on giving him one. We're going with the screwball, right in the dirt, great break, and we get the strikeout on Springer, probably the best hitter he had coming up to hit out of all the hitters he had coming up to hit. <laughs> nice little screwball. He's going to hit it right back up the middle, out of the diving reach of Brock Holt, and that's going to be a single. Sinker on the outside corner, if he steals, we will easily, and I mean very easily, gun him out. But instead, Brock Holt, this time around, dives, makes a web jam play, and we get ourselves out of that inning. Let's go, Peralta. Do some damage here. that's gonna be well struck that's gonna be a solo shot welcome to the kingdom Peralta come on let it drop I need my batting average to go up I need stats gotta let that drop don't do me like that unless I took the L right now due to lost connection I would be very sad extremely sad more than extremely sad I'd be extremely disappointed so let's see 
we took the W. And with that, we are ending today's episode. If you did end up enjoying today's episode, once again, we're just aiming for three likes. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell. Follow me on all social medias at BladeMist, same way it's spelled, on the YouTube channel username. And also click on the channel community tab, interact with me there. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. Take care of yourself, your family, and everyone around you. Love you all. Thank you for the support, and peace out.